Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix. Hylix is a game that I've played multiple times before. It's actually one of the only games that I've done a full LP on more than once. Um, I played the original game totally raw of my own accord in like 2020, and then I think I did a long play of it in 2021. And now here we are in 2022 and I'm playing it again. This game is a claymation RPG which uses these clay models. As you can see, there's a lot of clay here. And it randomly generates and scrambles the language involved in the game's text, for the most part. We'll get to that. Why? A skeleton delicately rescues the furnaces. The people dance astride a life. It is a gastropod near a tyranny. It is an insect inside prison. Meanwhile, Gibby, king of the moon, considers a pain uh, amidst the microcosm corrosion. Thus, your story begins. So this character is named Dracula. I don't think his name is ever actually said in game, but if you look at the sprites for him in the game files, you can see that his name is Dracula. Uh, so this is Wayne, this is our main character. And it was mentioned that Gibby, King of the Moon, uh, is a sort of tyrant. And in Hylix 2, we found toilet paper and a warm burrito. Let me see how we... So it's revealed and discussed in Hylix 2 that um, the world by default is like, it is all gooey and clay like this. Uh, but it is not normally randomly generated. Gibby has made things into being, you know, gibberish or gibberish if you prefer. TVs teach you techniques for anyone who didn't watch the old one. This taught us a blade of hollow pleather. And then here's our life savings, 53 bucks. So another thing revealed in Hylix 2 is that um, Wayne is like a species. And that like this, this is a Wayne that is in the middle stage of its life, possibly his life. Um, and that ordinarily, Wayne's start as a big, like, gooey larva. And then they turn into this, and then they become a large, giant sage. Trash can lid was found. Raises evasion rate. You accidentally crushed it. So this is a thing I want to talk about with Wayne. Um, so the default state of the world is how Wayne lives it, where like things are in color. There's not a lot of these big white things around. Um, and there's a, God, I love this game's color palette. To the Northeast is the mutant city of Mangir. May its domicile endure for 10, a thousand years. Um, but Wayne is part of this, like, awesome super species that appears to be one of the strongest, like, I don't know if it's, like, supposed to be, like, a strong species. It's 47 bucks in here. So, bucks are devalued, right? Like, Wayne's life saving was 53, but we were able to find 47 in, in a trash can. So... What I'm getting at here is that despite the fact that Wayne is like possibly part of this awesome ruling class. Our radiance, avenge our radiance. Thrum our merry radiance from my small ocean like delicately as a text fate. Soak below her product, manifest inside hers. Found meat. So this, again, this randomly generated crazy text is because of Gibby's influence. Stick a dynamite in the box. Of course you take it. Frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. So yeah, I think part of the idea is... Yeah, it's my four. Wayne is supposed to be a screw-up, you know? Like, Wayne is supposed to be an absolute loser. 
Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? So he sells this, which stops you from being blinded. Um, so yeah, I, I've been trying to like almost put together like a, a reasonable, rational plot thing. You can learn special abilities from the television scattered throughout the realm. Truth crystals can desire that life. Juice box found. When you use the tub, it's going to be 25 bucks. You stink. Everyone remember to take baths. You'll stink otherwise. But yeah, then there's that thing in um, the early thing where Wayne accidentally crushes that trash can as though he doesn't know his own strength. So, like, I feel like there's supposed to be an implication that, like, Wayne is just not putting his... Like, putting real effort into things. The cult permits nothing to leave Garmfuth. In this way, they hope to promote a reverse erosion. To build things up onto the mountain, I guess. Crudely calm another gland in session. Mount Garmfuth. This location will be randomly generated every time you come here. Uh, every time you start a new game, that is. Getting pinned down here. Let's hypnotize them. I love that. Oh, cool. Cone Cultist A is awake. All right. Um, see, I kind of figured that there would always be, like, this implication that, like, Wayne is a screw-up, and yet he is still, like, an awesome member of this cool species with a lot of power, but he's just not applying himself. And then Gibby, I always kind of thought that Gibby was meant to be, like, a member of Wayne's species, because Wayne is, like, a waning moon, you know? And Gibby is, like, a gibbous moon. Um, both of those are just terms for the moon as it moves across the sky. If you didn't know. All right. Bunch of meat. So, so graphic. Um, this is Datismon. I'm named Datismon. I've spent my life searching for the paper cup. I finally tracked it to these ruins. It's buried somewhere amidst the fallen monuments. I'll help. Your fellow artifact seeker. If you can bring me the paper cup, I'll be so unimaginably stoked. Dig for it by pressing the space key while standing over the location. Determine the location using the machine in my tent. Turn it on and take a nap. It'll project a vision to your mind. Large up. I don't know what large up means still. Right, the button, this is the button, of course. So I think in this room, there's actually a place where you can get infinite paper cups. But, sleep here? Yeah, now that the machine's on. So we know that there used to be paper cups and cars and cities and people in the world of Hylix. But prior to, so it is located between this thing this thing and this thing. We know that there used to be a thing where like the world was maybe relatively normal and that's where like bucks and paper cups and stuff like that comes from. But there was an event called the accretion um, described in Hylix 2 that appears to be where everything got clayed. But that's not when Gibby took power because the accretion had normal things going on. I'm the Sage of Brains, I grant you my token. Seek my siblings, the Sage of Computers and Death. They will give you tokens. Therein is the path to enlightenment. So I mentioned because... Um, I believe how it works is that the Sages are like... 
creatures from before the accretion, and that's part of why they're so smart. They just knew things that were going on back then. This is the head of Pongorma, a party member we get later. This may or may not be the head of a party member, like Wayne or Dennismund. This is absolutely Wayne's head. This is Datus Moln's head. This may be Datus Moln's head. Um, I'm unclear if there is a... like, implication to that. If there's a meaning to those things. Yeah, stealthing it up. Guys, come on. I know it's right over here. A lot of dead pixels in this sprite. See how when they, they move, there's some random pixels on the screen? There's a thing like that in, I believe, Doom 2, wherein you... Um, I might need to kill them. Ah, oh, crap. Um, there's a thing like that in Doom 2 where you can see that somebody uh, accidentally left pixels on, I think it's either the Archdemon sprite or the, like, generic demon sprite. You need to die first, actually. See, this is this is bad. Um, so yeah, in my mind, what happened is the accretion happened, and then the Waynes may have already existed, or they began to exist from this point on. But from the point of this Gibby, who is a mutant offspring of the Waynes, and like the Waynes appear to share a hive mind in Hylix 2. Um, and if Wayne is like the last of his kind, this Wayne, I mean, um, if this Wayne is like the last of his kind, damn, um, also, this Wayne being the last of his kind is kind of irrelevant because. The afterlife exists. Like, this is the afterlife. This is a place that you can go. Um, so this is the afterlife. Feel free to crash on the couch. Use the machine over there to convert meat into flesh points. Deposited meat. We got more flesh. That's health. And the lilies float the moth, the mole amongst his galleries. Go within the dark earth. Restored. This guy will let us through when we die more. You need to die two more times. The executive balcony is down there. I think we want this one. Um, you can build sandcastles on the beach. Use the space bar, Gasp. Yeah, look at that. So, um, this is another Wayne head. So perhaps, like, the Waynes were some sort of, I don't know, important iconography? I can hear a TV set behind the wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. Well, here, how about this? I'll let you check it out first. Calibration. Can I wait? I'm in the middle of them. Um, but yeah, my concept is that, like, Waynes were a, maybe a religious class, like they were priests or something, and they had a hive mind, and then Gibby, who is a mutant offshoot of the Waynes, became a heretic, and used his, like, maybe inherent Wayne power to take over the world, 
And then this Wayne, who is the last survivor of it. It's unclear how a Wayne can be killed. Um, if at all. Because, like, the afterlife is a thing. We were just there. Like, we were just murdered. You saw our bones dissolve and our blood melt off of our body. And that was pretty extreme. But, you know, like... That's just a part of the game, I guess. But my idea is that Gibby, you know, killed the Waynes and this, this like, Wayne who is, there we go. This Wayne who is, um, like a slacker, like a lazy Wayne, decided to take things into his own hand and take down everyone. The cup, you found it. I'm an expert in the use of the paper cup. One day we may come across an artifact from the old times which require the paper cup. Whatever. Magnificent. I'll guide you when the time comes. All right. So now we have Data Smolten. 